Hey, how are you guys doing? Um, it's been such a long time, I know, but I'm really, um, I don't know why, but I feel a little bit, um, how can I put it? Missing you guys. And I want to give some shout outs before I start. Now, please, please, please leave your comments in this video. Just leave your comments down below, anything you like. Um, and I'll tell you something, this break has been so interesting for me. One thing is I so miss you guys so much. I really, truly miss all of you. I just miss saying yo, yo, yo. I just miss saying Swaggo Ultimate. I miss saying Stevie Boy. I miss saying Tone, Tone, Tone. Where are you, man? And my, I just miss all of you guys. Yeah, little Pumpy, I miss a whole bunch of you. Bun, the lot of you, I miss so much of you. And I just miss the parties that we had. And, um, you know, this is a sad event for YouTube because YouTube really is losing out on, you know, us getting together. Sad for me because I'm missing out on just seeing you guys say, hi, Harj, how are you doing? And I don't need, I don't need to really say what you, how it's like for you guys. But, you know, it's really, you know, two and a half months left to go before I can do my live streams again. So it's been a great time to reflect. And so what I've been thinking is I want to, you know, as you all know, I won't be playing Fortnite today, but I will be playing Fortnite soon. But as you all know, for me, um, you know, economics is so important. Um, Austrian economics to be exact. So what I wanted to do is just let you guys into my life, something that I probably don't get across in my live streams, because, you know, my live streams is just, you know, just pure energy with you guys, meeting me and talking with you guys and just building that up from you guys. And I really enjoy that. But it's amazing. And I don't want to take that away from what it is. And I don't think it, I don't want it to be anything other than what it is. So this is, like I say, a very different medium for me. And it's something I'm not familiar, I'm not used to at the moment, as you can see, hence by the fact that I've only put a few videos out there. But... I want to see how this goes and something from what's important to me is economics. So I'm going to read a little bit of my favourite, 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 favourite book. This guy is the best guy in the whole wide world. It is the one, the only, if you can read that, the quotable Mises. It's about Ludwig von Mises. So I'm going to give you the first quote, okay, guys? So economics, boom, right there, guys. Okay, so it says, economics is not about goods or services. It's not about goods, it's not about services. It's about human choice. A human choice and action. This is what economics is. Economics is about my choices in what I did and what I do right now and what I've done in the past and my actions. That's economics. Economics is not about goods, it's not about services, it's about this, what we have right now. And that's, one, that's why I love economics. The next quote I want to say, economics deals with real man. Weak, subject to error, making mistakes, human beings. That's what economics deals with. It deals with me recording the football, getting banned from YouTube. That's what economics is. Economics is not, and this is important, economics is not about perfect man or gods, because that's all perfect men are. Just, you know, that's, you've got to be in the other world to be perfect and to know everything and to, to be omni, omnipotent, omnipotent, to be the person who knows all. Economics is not about that. Because that person doesn't need economics because he can already predict the future and what to do, what not to do. And the, 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 there is, that's a world where there is no limited anything. But in this world, economics is about you, me, human beings making real choices, aiming at things and getting it wrong and falling on our face, learning from it and doing it again if that is the case. That's economics human actors, human beings. Okay, next quote. Even economics should not be relegated to the classrooms and statistics 
and left into these polluting circles, these historic um, circles. It's a philosophy of human life and action and concerns everybody and everything. It's the pith of civilization and of man's human existence. That's economics. It's not something that should be taught in a classroom about saying, look, this is a supply and demand curve. These are the statistics. That's not economics. Economics is about you and me, as I've said before, about the philosophy of human existence. That's economics. Okay, next quote. Despots and democratic majorities. That's basically that person in power. I guess Donald Trump, Theresa May, um, Angela Merkel. We could go on. But yes, those people I'm talking about. Those people are the majorities who are drunk, absolutely drunk with power. They must reluctantly admit that they are subject to the laws of nature, but they reject the very notion of economic law. Economic history is a long record of government policies, policies made by these people, the Trumps of the world, the Theresa May, the governments of the world, the despots of the world. History is littered with policies made by these people that failed because they designed, um, they designed with a bold disregard of the laws of economic. They've totally said, forget economics, we don't care. We want to do this. We want the world and humans to be like this. And of course, history is littered with these things. So that's, an in, that's important how they disregard, they reluctantly agree to nature, but with economic law, they totally disregard that. Economics, such is a challenge to the conceit of those in power. So those in power really hate economics. An economist can never be favoured by the demagogues and those people in power. With them, he is always a mischief maker and more of an inwardly, and the more they are inwardly convinced by his objections to be well-founded, the more they hate him. So the more these people realise, this guy, this economist, who knows exactly that he's making sense, we hate him even more because he knows that the consequences of our actions, he's explained them to them, are disastrous, but we don't care. We're gonna push ahead and we're gonna lock that economist in jail because we don't wanna hear what he's got to say because he's causing us a problem. He's like the fly in your whiskey and he just wants to get <laughs> squashed. All right, guys, so, the, unpopular, the unpopularity of econ economics is the result of its analysis of privileges. That's what economics, in many senses, an analyzes privileges. Those people who have a privilege, and we're talking about privilege, which is normally granted by governments. It is impossible to invalidate the economist's demonstration that all privileges hurt the interests of the rest of the nation. All privileges hurt everyone else. So if you imagine one privilege, which is the farmer's privilege to destroy milk, not plant any food, and get subsidies from government, so get their income from benefits from government, not to plant anything, spill away the goods, reduce, make only certain quotas, that's hurting everybody else because they're getting taxed to give the farmer money to do nothing. That's a privilege. When one company goes to a government and gets a privilege to be the only producer of that good, they can produce low quality stuff at a high price, everybody pays the price, knowing that they get the kickbacks from the government. That's the privileges that, eco that economists and eco economics brings, shows that this is the damage that is causing everyone else. All those not familiar with economics, that's the majority of everyone, do not see any reason why they should not coerce people by other means of force to do things that they're not prepared to do themselves. So those people who are unfamiliar with economics, they don't see any reason why they shouldn't 
say to people or ask a government to make certain laws that impact someone else and should you ask them directly would you do that if somebody wants to marry someone from the other side of the world would you stop them from getting married if someone wants to bring their child into this country if someone wants to get a job into this country would you stop them and the chances are you would probably say no if it was somebody was hungry and needed some money would you next time you go to the cash point whoever takes some money out would you take that money from them and give it to the other person because even though they need it you've just stole it from the other person you wouldn't do that yourself but you ask government to do it for you and that's the sad truth of it you ask government to do things that you would not do yourself all right um um the main achievement of economics is it is that a prov the main achievement of economics is that it has provided a theory of peaceful human cooperation the wealth of nations and many of the other economic um books that have come before us have said to us look this is how we can survive with each other in harmony trading we don't need to hurt each other we don't need to shoot each other we don't need to kill each other that's not the way to create prosperity how you create prosperity is you use what you have and you trade with your fellow man that's it and if you want to follow the laws of economics then in do what you enjoy more of and hopefully you should be able to find trade with your fellow man savings build up your savings and then you can become somebody who can then invest in other aspects of your life so economics has shown us the road to prosperity and then it says this is why the harbingers of violent conflict have branded it the dismal science and this is uh, and why this age of wars civil wars and destruction have no use for it the governments have no use for this philosophy of peaceful cooperation a cooperative existence which is outlined in economics they don't want to know about it they want to know about wars destruction and how you can prevent people building walls and borders and granting privileges to some people getting votes that's what they care about not about peaceful existence which economics has showed us you don't need governments for people for individuals to trade okay no deep knowledge of economics is usually needed to grasp the immediate effects of a particular policy or measure most people can say okay well if we build a wall that means these people just can't come in brilliant that's amazing but the task of economics is to foretell the remoter effects and so to allow us to avoid such acts um as an attempt to remedy the present ill by sowing the seeds of a much greater ill in the future so an example another one would be quantitative easing the government has pumped money printed money and everyone thinks wow the effects of that is that you know some stock market's going up or something interest rates are going up. that's brilliant for some people but they don't seem to realize that that is fake that money has been paid by the taxpayer and it's going to come out the market and it's going to, and it's going to cause a bigger recession so the after effects are never seen by the joe public joe public only sees the immediate action which is benefits coming to me from the government they don't see anything beyond that they don't see the fact that they took the money from someone else they deny the opportunities that that would have created the jobs that they would have created the people who created the money all they see is i've got this for me that's it then they don't see the effects it has on you economics looks at the whole picture and says this is a bad idea governments never look at the full picture they just look at that quick quote that they can give you to get you, get keep themselves in power to push their socialist agenda and to make sure they've got their people who voted for them giving them something and really dis doing them a disservice by penalizing should they follow any other route they then remove they lose all those privileges which of course would be a sad state as well So um that's the vicious cycle of course that's what it creates. So guys I really hope that you enjoyed this take. It's my first this is my first attempt of talking about economics. I suppose I do get a little bit passionate about it um in many ways. 
and um, hopefully you got that across and I'll try to do another page tomorrow but hopefully you got an idea of how those who have disregard for economics those in power right now who ruin your lives and of course what economics is which is something which shows how we can live in peaceful existence and it shows us just how we are as human beings so thank you for watching if you've got any comments do leave it in the description below and I want to give a shout out to Tony, Rubens, Little Pump, HH, Swago, to Stevie Boy, to Redstone, to Grimo, to Jamie, to all of you guys. Um, if I've missed anyone out, I really apologise. really, truly do. And I wanted to get something to eat as well, guys. So for the last few minutes, I'm just going to grab something to eat so you guys can share that with me as well. How's that? One second, guys. Here we go, guys. This is the one I got. All right. Boom. I'm going to try making these a bit more, so hopefully this hasn't bored you too much, the video. But, um, all right, guys, here we are. Boom, I'm back. Pew. Hope you like it, guys. It's quite a nice flavour, if you like it, guys. You, some of you guys have been asking me, have I stopped my ASMRs? And my answer is, of course, I don't do my ASMRs anymore. I don't do them anymore. <laughs> I just, um, don't bother. But, I think some of you guys don't like them. But, at least, Mmm, mmm, very nice. One more bite. Guys, subscribe. Oh, subscribe and share this video and hopefully I'll make more. If the economics... I'm not going to apologise about the economics. I love economics. I hope you guys do too. Maybe I'll get you into it. All right, guys? Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Hope you like this video and I'll see you on the next one. All right, guys? All right, guys, have a great day. Bye. Have a wonderful day, guys.